Yeah, I've got to be honest, this is definitely one of the stranger titles I've used in my time on YouTube, but it's not wrong. Well, hello and welcome back to Your Daily Reminder, the series where I show you just how strange the internet can be. Now, we've got a bunch of stuff to catch up on, but the boxing just happened at the weekend and Tommy Fury took it upon himself to call out Jake Paul. But I've got one thing to say. Oh, I really do love that, by the way. Like, we've just watched two blokes fight, you know, blood pouring down their face, but because Tommy said a bad word, we have to censor it. Makes a lot of sense. But if you want it, I'm here and I'm ready for you, and I'll cut you and chop you to bits just like I did there. Cut you and chop you to bits? I'm not sure that's part of the rule book. But Jake Paul did release a statement on the fight and he said, congrats on being a 10 and one fighter, but that stadium was empty. When I fight, the stadium is full. Yeah, but, uh... Apparently the pay-per-views aren't. When Tommy fights, no one gives a fuck. And that's in his home country. Let's see how Anderson Silva's event does. Anderson Silva, by the way, is pushing 50. Yeah, makes a lot of sense to be fair. But speaking of rich idiots, we also have this Botox doctor who recently spent $88 million on a mansion, has now had to file for bankruptcy and claims he dreamed too big. Like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I've dreamed too big when I've ordered 20 chicken nuggets at McDonald's, only ate nine of them and realized I could have saved 60 pence. But don't worry because the mansion had many great things, like a champagne tasting room, a 24 karat gold flooring, and my personal favorite, an NFT gallery. Yeah, he deserved the bankruptcy for that alone. Oh, and it gets even better because when you read further onto the article, you can see one of his clients was actually Kim Kardashian, which is quite ironic because it also talks about how the bloke was very angry with the construction crew because, and I quote, nobody wants to work these days. <laughs> Where have we heard that before? I have the best advice for women in business. Get your fucking ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. You That's have to, so true. You but we do actually have a few clips of the mansion in question, so let's take a look at it. This bachelor's paradise is made up of 14,000 square feet and boasts six bedrooms, 10 baths, a yoga room with living plant walls, a wellness spa fully equipped with a cryo chamber and sensory deprivation tank. Like, yeah, I get it. It's clearly a very high-end place to live, but for $88 million, I'd want to be on Mars or something. Not a five-minute walk from Tana Mojo. But no matter how many millions you waste, at least you can always say that you're not the island, boys. Whoa, wait a second. Where have the antennas gone? I mean, that was the best unique selling point. Like, what do they have now? A bunch of shy tattoos and a podcast walkout. You, you know me from Island Boys, but you know I'm thugging, bro, right? You know I'm thugging, right? Yeah, uh, maybe we should watch more of that boxing clip. You know, it must be incredibly hard to make Bryce Hall look like the reincarnation of Muhammad Ali, but credit to the Island Boys, they've somehow managed to do it. But it actually gets even better because they then go on to prove that if boxing doesn't quite work out, they could have a future in MMA. Yeah, yeah. I saw that kick real quick. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty deadly, that, to be fair. But you all know the saying, I'm a lover, not a fighter. And that seems to be what the Island Boys are all about nowadays, because they are showing their loving side but it just so happens to be to each other. <laughs> now, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but please stick to the boxing. Now, obviously, a situation that's been happening recently is the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial. I don't feel like I need to explain it because it's been absolutely everywhere, but if you did need an expert analysis of the trial itself, who better to hear from than Trisha Paytas? What do you mean that we don't need gravity? What if it was never invented? Because Trisha has uploaded a video called the whole Johnny Depp situation, but the only thing is, she doesn't even really talk about the Johnny Depp situation and instead just kind of defends what she's done in the past. And that is one thing I can say, and I don't care if like people laugh at me or like whatever, I don't care if people like don't believe me, but like I've never like lied on somebody ever. I've never lied on somebody ever. Right. <laughs> Trisha Paytas, YouTube's biggest liar. One hour and 40 minutes long. You know, wanting to exaggerate, to really drive home, like how much you hate this person and how much this person is awful. But like, I've never done it because to me, that's like, I don't know, it's always been like ultimate karma. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I'm not even gonna say anything. But now moving over to the mill, Trisha Paytas with Nicocado Avocado. Oh no, oh my God, don't poop. Oh no, you're on camera, don't poop. Ah, oh, brace, brace, 
Brakes, 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 squeeze, 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 squeeze. Now Nicholas recently uploaded a few videos talking about how he had a bit of a health scare and then uploaded another video with an emotional montage showing how sad he was because he's gained all this weight. <sighs> How many days left? <laughs> Now since then, I don't think it'll be a shock to anybody that Nicholas has actually been carrying on with his mukbangs and we've also got the 47th instalment of All and Returning. So the video starts off with Nick Ocado saying he's just been to Walmart and he took the last scooter which caused an old woman to fall. And this lady apparently, she was an old lady, she was elderly. Apparently she needed the scooter too. And she fell down and I said, oh no, somebody call the police. She says, I wouldn't have fallen if I had the scooter. I said, excuse me, being old is not a disablement. Age is not a disabled. I am disabled. I'm not sure if that's exactly how it works, Nicholas, mate. Like, can you imagine being a 90-year-old woman and falling out of a Walmart and then all of a sudden Nicholas here comes zooming over on the last scooter, screaming his lungs off and shaking his belly? I mean... Talk about adding insult to injury. And I tried to do the Reiki magic to make her feel- and then she died. Wait, she what? Fucking hell. That wasn't the happy ending we were after. But don't worry guys, because Karma then goes and hits Nicholas when he's least expecting it. Better tell the truth. E oh, and it wasn't just Karma either. All and even decided to get in on the action. Round one. Fight! Ouch! 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 Don't give me my shit! Honestly, I still can't believe this is free to watch. And look, I've realised we've spoke about boxing quite a bit in this video, which is quite ironic because Orland still has the best technique out of the lot. But one person who does actually know how to throw a punch is Mike Tyson. You know, the guy who literally bit someone's ear off. Yeah, kind of a scary bloke. Well, a video went viral recently of a guy who thought it would be a good idea to wind up Mike Tyson on a plane, which let's be honest, isn't a good idea at the best of times, but why would you do it 30,000 feet in the air? So as you can imagine, if you're locked in a plane and you decide to wind up Mike Tyson, it probably doesn't end well. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, Mike, Mike, come on. The boy just got beat up by Mike Tyson. And you know what they say, if you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. But it turns out the guy involved is a known criminal anyway, so I guess Mike Tyson was just taking justice into his own hands. Literally. But I've got to say my favourite response to all of this is Dana White showing exactly how you should react if you get in an altercation with Mike Tyson on a plane. Hey, come on. Move it. You want, I, I like this seat. I like it better. Yeah, I would definitely do the exact same thing, except I would probably shit myself in the process. But now for the biggest news for all teenage boys across the globe. Belle Delphine is back. Here's a big duck. So before five days ago, Belle Delphine's last tweet was in February of 2021. And I mean, you've got to give it to her because she just keeps coming back and then like drops a sex tape or something and then fucks off for another year with her multi-millions. But every time Miss Delphine returns to the internet, she has to up the content, you know? Like she went from selling bath water to becoming the next 6 9 to then releasing a sex tape and is now swallowing things. Based on what I post, would you stab me in real life? Yeah, I've got to be honest, Belle, I probably wouldn't, but if you ask Tommy nice, he might give it a try. But if you want it, I'm here and I'm ready for you, and I'll cut you and chop you to bits just like you did there. Fish fear me, men love me, and I hate me. Now, it has got to be said, Shakespeare has been very quiet since this was posted. And now for the pinnacle of the Swallowing Things trilogy, we have this. You have no idea how much this hurt. A sequence of images where Belle shows an Instagram comment that says a light bulb can fit in your mouth but cannot be taken out, and she quickly finds out they weren't lying. Vitamins and history books. Psychology in a different way to live. I mean, to be fair, when I was in school, people thought it would be funny to show you one man, one jar, so in the grand scheme of things, 
This is pretty tame. But either way, that has been your daily reminder. If you did enjoy, please do have a like down below. Subscribe if you are new. And if you want to let me know topics to talk about in future videos, the best way to do that's on my Instagram. It's at Calamarki and always linked in the description. And I guess until the next one, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, goodbye. Hey, hey,